Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExvilAutomation.com and this is part 3 of our Understanding Appium video series. And in this part, we are going to talk about how Appium actually works. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 2 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So how Appium works? As we already know that Appium supports Android, iOS and Firefox operating system platforms, there should be a mechanism for Appium to handle them, right? So Appium handles these platform using something called as vendor provided frameworks. As we already discussed in part one, each operating system has their specific vendor provided frameworks. So what are these vendor provided frameworks and what it does? Well, the vendor provided frameworks for different platforms or for iOS, it's Apple's UI automation. And this framework is actually developed by Apple itself. Similarly, in Android 4.2 plus versions, it can be 4.2, 4.4 or whatever future versions, they are actually supported using Google's UI Automator. And this API is actually available to Appium and hence Appium support the automation stuff in this particular platform. Similarly, for Android 2.3 plus versions, the Google's instrumentation is actually used. Well, what is instrumentation? Well, instrumentation is something which was available earlier to Google's UI Automator. And instrumentation support is provided by bundling a separate project called Selindroid. Again, Selindroid is a separate automation testing tool which is available in www.selindroid.io. So you can see from there, right? So we'll discuss more about this vendor provided frameworks and how Appium managed to perform the operation in these APIs in upcoming slide of these videos. How Appium works in Android? Well, as we already know, whatever code we write in C Sharp or Java or PHP, they are called as client libraries for Appium, right? So whatever code we write is going to be what is called as Appium client. And then these Appium client will actually communicate with what is called as Appium server using JSON wire protocol. And in Appium client actually add some libraries or some of the DLLs or jar files, which converts these code into JSON format. And then that JSON stuff is understandable by Appium server and Appium server parse these JSON wire protocol stuff and it then recognizes that the request is actually for Android and then it will invoke the respective vendor provided frameworks and it also checks what versions of Android you are targeting for if it is 4.3 plus then it's going to target UI automator if it is less than that, then it is going to target Cylindroid, right? So Appium server will then invoke the vendor provided frameworks, as I already told. And then the vendor provided framework will then invoke the request to the actual emulator or the actual physical device. And this physical device will have something called as bootstrap.jar. And this bootstrap.jar will actually perform all the magic for you. Once it does the operation, it sends the re response back to the UI automator and the response all the way back from UI automator to Appium server to back to Appium client. And that's how this whole thing works. So in a nutshell, Appium client, Appium server, UI automator and emulator. This is what is the communication media from your client to the emulator right so this is how appium works in android so how appium works in ios then that's the next question well it again has the same appium client code well it's going to be java it can be php or whatever language you want to be and then it again communicates with the appium server using json wire protocol but here it is going to communicate the Appium server is going to communicate with what is called as UI automation since 
in iOS, the library is going to be UI automation. And here, as I already told, the UI automation is going to look for what is called as bootstrap.js in the simulator. And the bootstrap.js will perform all the operation whichever we are sending from the Appium client. And once it's done with that, it will then send the response back from all the way from simulator to Appium client. And that's how things works in Appium for iOS. So this is how Appium works in Android and iOS operating systems. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.